In this month's SA Life magazine, Rosa is taking a look at the humble spud and putting it to many uses. The potato is a very easy crop to grow in our backyards. And in South Australia, if you live on the Adelaide Plains, you can grow potatoes right through the winter months. Today, a crash course in growing the humble spud. First, let's consider which potatoes to grow. You'll see many in the shops, but often the hybrids or registered varieties grown under licence. You'll find that only certain varieties are carried by nurseries, and these are genuine seed potatoes. Certified virus-free and specifically chosen because they are guaranteed to grow well. My favourite all-rounder is the Sabago. Mashes well, chips well, pretty much bulletproof. Coliban is another good choice, and Kiflers make their way onto restaurant menus all around the world because of their texture and flavour. And all of these can be grown from the potato itself. Now, the first thing to do is to look for eyes or shoots. If they're shooting, it's fairly obvious, but the eyes are just dimples, and you really need to cut there like that and try and get two eyes minimum per cut or set. Now, cut them all into as many sets as you can, but always ensure that they got a couple of eyes. So there we are there, and you cut those up. There's one, two, three there, so that's going to be a bonus. And remember, too, that once you cut them, try and leave them out in an airy place for a day or two just to dry out a little bit. Now, this is where the magic begins, because each of these sets, when planted out, can produce between three and six kilograms of potatoes. The other good thing about it, the longer you leave the potato in the ground, the bigger it grows. Now, if you haven't got any sunny spots in your garden, here are three great ideas. First, a classic terracotta pot. Next, a hessian bag with a lovely organic mix in it. And the car tyre. These are great for growing potatoes in a small area. The most important thing, apart from sunshine to grow potatoes, is that the soil has to be well drained and they should never be allowed to dry out. For something about the diameter of this tyre, I'm going to plant four sets. And I'll put them down fairly deep to start with and backfill. So I level that out. And then the final thing is you put on some lovely mulch. How easy is that? Now, potatoes take about three or four months to mature. So as the plants grow, we'll be adding another tyre and compost so we get more potatoes. And we'll be doing the same with the bag. We'll be rolling it up and with our pot, putting more compost in around the plant. Now, some other jobs you can be doing in the garden this month. You know, they say prune in June. Well, it's not that necessary, especially with roses and fruit trees here in Adelaide. If you have to go away, for example, in June, don't get upset about it. You've still got July and even August before you have to prune your roses. There's so many other things to do in the garden during the month of June. Thankfully, we've had a bit of rain, so you'll be able to pick those low-lying areas in the lawn. Give them a fork over and add some coarse sand. And cyclamen are coming back in the bud, so give them a little bit of TLC and some fertiliser. Now, what to plant? Well, this year I've planted out asparagus and also plants that I need for our salad bowl. Remember that buddy I hacked back about a month ago? Well, I put it through in my mulcher and here it is. I'll probably add a little bit of dynamic lifter to it and I reckon I'm going to be spending the next few hours spreading this around my garden. But it's something you should do this time of the year. Mulch your garden. Don't forget to do it. 